Hey everybody, it's Servo. This is gonna be a weird one. <laughs> a little bit ago, I reached out and asked you guys if you had questions for me because I wanted to film a Q&A. But I also was considering what else I could do during that time because I feel like I'm too awkward to just talk. But you guys like the talking videos. In an effort to make it less awkward, I'm gonna do a mukbang because I'm also very hungry. So, <laughs> I have Greek food. I have a falafel pita and some french fries. This is not gonna be ASMR stuff, though we stand that. I support whatever you wanna watch. I'm just gonna do like a normal Q&A mukbang. I know, it's a little deviated from my normal channel, but I just wanna try new stuff out, so. Also, I'm very hungry. Okay, so here's the food we got. We got a falafel pita. I'll try to get it out so you guys can see. I'm a very messy eater, so this might be a terrible idea. My dad's been telling me since I was like, you know, 10, like, don't take a guy on a date out to eat for a first date, cause like, you'll gross him out. Thanks, Dad. Um, no, I usually get food all over me. It's just my thing. Let's look at those fries. Dang. They're fine. A little bit cold, but I kind of like a soggy fry. Is that weird? So, I got a bunch of questions. Some were from, like, friends. Some were from subscribers. Um, because I don't know how many of you actually follow me over there. If you do want to follow me, it's at YT Sarah Bo on Twitter and Instagram. I'm on Instagram a lot more. I'm just going to eat my food answer a couple questions, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I've never done a mukbang before. I don't know if I will ever do one again, but I really just like trying new things. So let's be gentle, okay? So then first question, what do we wanna do? Okay, what got you into singing and how long have you been singing? You are so talented and beautiful. First of all, thank you, that's really nice. <laughs> I'm not just trying to like start it off by like hyping myself up, but that is very nice, thank you. Okay, so I got into singing because I loved music when I was little. I always would listen to Taylor Swift and everyone, and she was kind of like my first songwriter. I know I'm not unique in that, but I honestly just love Taylor Swift. I love the emotion she puts into it. So I started songwriting around fourth grade. Me and my friends had a band called The Sparks. It was interesting. <laughs> I wrote some, like, I would say pretty catchy songs. Honestly, the song structure was pretty good. The part where it fell flat was um, they were a little bit cheesy because like obviously in fourth grade, you're not writing like super deep things and your vocabulary isn't exactly completely formed yet. Did we see where I just put the ketchup? It's just casually hanging out, but yeah. I have kind of been writing songs since. I didn't play any instruments then. I went into band and kind of like dropped songwriting. I didn't like stop, but I wasn't like focused on it. From probably fifth grade to say like ninth grade, at the end of freshman year, I picked up guitar again. I also got ukulele and I wrote True Grit and Shy and Why and all these songs that like started me off that you can find on my channel. And then recently I just got my first gig. I love it and Obviously, I'm trying to pursue it as a career, so. Oh, that was from Summer, so thank you, Summer. Next, I got, what's your favorite thing about college? This is from Brianna. I know Brianna from home, so hi, Brianna. So many things. I don't know how, like, to describe it, because at first, I did not love college. I didn't specifically dislike it. It's just a huge adjustment. Yeah, I didn't have a ton of friends at first, but now I love it. <laughs> um, I've made so many friends. Um, that I love to death. I love the freedom of it. I love that I'm on my own now. I'm not like completely on my own. Obviously my parents still help me out with a lot of things and I'm going back to my house this summer, but I don't know. There's a lot of independence that goes with it. it it's just been really cool to meet all the different people that I just would have never met had I not been at college and had I not been exposed to this entire thing. So yeah, I'm loving college. <laughs> I wanna do a video on why I chose Ohio State. I might eventually. So if you want to see that, leave it down below. I ain't never done this before, no. I ain't never, okay, I can't get copyright stricken. Some questions about where in Ohio I'm from. I don't want to answer those necessarily, just because I'm from a small hometown, so I don't want to like, you know, give away my location. I don't have stalkers. Really, Corinne, oh, she's a YouTuber. She, hi, if you're watching, <laughs> um, she, but she goes to Ohio State. She said, are you planning on study abroad? If so, when and where? I am, I'm going this summer actually. I knew I really wanted to do study abroad, but it was very expensive and I wasn't sure if I would have been able to do it, but, wow, it's really hard to find a balance between eating and chewing, but 
I actually did find um, a program which I really like through Fisher, which is our College of Business at Amenthe. It's called a Freshman Global Lab. We're going for two weeks. I've never been out of the country before. We're going in May and we're going to Germany, which I'm so, so excited about. So yeah, I actually signed up for that and then I was able to fund it because I applied for a scholarship. I was one of the recipients of that and that was amazing and very cool. Basically because of that, I'm able to fund my trip which is very cool. It's a full fund, but it like made the trip possible. But I'm so, so excited to go to Germany. You have no idea. To go experience new cultures and new things, all about it. So yeah, I'm going this May and I'm, again, excited. I use that word too much, but I am. Just like I'm excited about these fries. They put some kind of like seasoning on them. I don't know what it is, but it's very good. A couple of people asked this question as well. And it's what's your favorite thing about joining a sorority? I just feel like very supported in everything I do. I think our sorority is really cool, like Beta New, our chapter. Really cool and the fact that like all the girls are super determined and I don't know how to explain that. Like if I gave our sorority a superlative, it would be like determined. So we're just kind of starting up on campus and honestly the girls that are in it are just working so hard to like make a name for ourselves and everybody has something they're passionate about and we all kind of like support each other i was nervous that going into sorority people would think it was like weird that i did youtube and weird that i like had all these singing hobbies and whatnot but like everyone is so supportive there are people that would go up to me and be like hey i watch your channel like me and my friends watch your channel and it's it's so nice i i don't know that like the old, even the older girls are supportive because i didn't necessarily expect that i didn't know it would be like so supportive so i yeah i would say that's the best thing about like my sorority and like joining a sorority is just having that support system and, and i just know my like girls are there for me and it's just really cool knowing that so yeah ha, ha. I love falafel so much. It's literally my favorite food. Hmm. Oh, this is from another sister. Hi, Amanda. What kind of hair products do you use? I'm generally curious as another curly haired gal. I don't have set products. I switch around a lot, if we're being honest. But my favorite things that I have just always stuck with are the macadamia hair mask. I'll put like an overlay so you can see what I'm talking about. And the It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. Those have been staples because like curly hair can get so dry. So I use the It's a 10 one every time I get out of the shower and then I use the macadamia one like one to two times a week depending on how much I'm washing my hair. But yeah, those are like my two staples. And then other than that, I use a purple shampoo because I'm blonde. And then I also really like Love and Beauty and I love Pacifica's sea salt hair or whatever it's called. So yeah, those are my favorite things. I'll leave some links down below, but those are my favorite hair products. Not a hair genius, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just mostly let it go natural all the time. Mostly because I'm too lazy, but <laughs> yeah, those are the products I used. Um, oh shit, I got food on me. I got asked what my plans are after college. This one's a tough one. Ideally, I want to work for a record label. I mean, I want to be a singer. Like, I want to be a singer-songwriter. That's my goal in life. That's what I'm trying to go after. I want to live in Nashville, for sure. I don't necessarily have to work in the music industry, but I would love to live in Nashville. So far, that's what I want to do, but we'll see if it changes, because it probably will 80 times. I'm indecisive. But obviously, I, I want to go after the singing thing. I really do. Ah, uh, ass. Oh, this one's interesting. Hopefully the angle hasn't changed too much. Um, my camera battery just died. Kristen asks, what was it like growing up with a sibling with autism? Okay, so this is a super deep topic that I could get into. I, I definitely want to start that like podcast series I was talking about in my last video um, and talk about this, especially with my stepmom. She knows a lot more than me because it's it's impacted her life a lot more than me. Um, Sophie is my sister, if you didn't know. She's six years old and she was diagnosed with autism when she was three years old. You can't group autistic kids together very much because it's very um, different. There's a quote that says, if you've met one kid with autism, you've met one kid with autism. But she is a two on the spectrum. And as of right now, she's mostly nonverbal. She can speak if you talk to her. If you get up in her face and say, hi, Sophie, sh she'll say back to me, hi, Sarah. But she, she won't go out of her way to communicate with you unless she needs something, in which case, at this point, she can mostly communicate those needs, but not fully 
if that makes sense. Just a little intro to Sophie. It is different than my other siblings, so if you didn't know, I actually have a ton of siblings. I have seven. Um, some are full, some are half. I just call them all my siblings. But Sophie is the youngest of all of them, so I don't even know how to explain it. it it's hard sometimes on her, and it's hard on me because I see her not being able to communicate exactly what she needs and wants um, with words, and it's obviously a struggle for her because um, autism just doesn't come in the form of like the ones you mostly see in media which is like typical but doesn't understand social cues. She genuinely can't speak her needs a lot of the time and so it's really upsetting to see her get very frustrated and, and want to say things but not be able to and, and want to express things and not be able to. One incident that comes to mind is one time we went to the zoo, I think this was two-ish years ago, and it was really crowded there and it was a summer day and she got overstimulated and basically like had a little bit of like a breakdown, panic attack, you know. And it was hard because we had to pack up and leave. Bless my little brother's soul because he's actually eight years old and he is so good with her. But he, he had to leave the zoo that day, so he was upset and he was like crying but trying not to be upset because he knows that it was hard on Sophie. And there were people that were sitting there talking behind her backs going, oh, they just need to spank that child. And then I could see my stepmom getting like visibly upset from these people that you can't really blame because they don't know any better, but they're just getting upset and going, oh, she should just be spanked. They need to like control their child because they just don't understand because it's not a very visible um, disability. So moments like that, it can be upsetting and it's mostly for her sake. And then I see like, it does affect my little brother in the sense that like he didn't get to go to the zoo that day. But then, I don't know, the reward is just so much more. Like <laughs> I can't explain it. Um, I'm not trying to be patronizing or anything. I think her teacher said it the best. So Sophie's kindergarten teacher, she said, you know, she's 10 times the work of a regular student, but she's 10 times the reward. She's so happy most of the time and she's such a sweet girl. And just seeing her get excited by things and be all lovey, like come up to me and like go squeeze and I like squeeze her really tight and like she loves that. Just having her as a sister, she's like made our whole family better people because we've been around her. I, you should see like the way she's changed my dad. He is so much more understanding of people. He was a pretty like rough around the edges guy but I, now he's like, <laughs> he's not soft by any means. Just seeing him with her is so cool. And my little brother is the sweetest thing ever. Like the way he, he'll save his suckers at Halloween because even though he likes them, he knows they're the only candy Sophie like and S Sophie's not like great at trigger treating. It's, it's a lot and it can be stressful at times and it can be hard to see her not be able to do the things that all the other kids do. But it's really rewarding and I love her so much that I would not change her for the whole freaking world. It's stressful, but it's also so rewarding and I will not have it any other way. I just love Sophie to death. She's gorgeous, it makes me mad. <laughs> she's like already prettier than me and she's six, which is kind of rude, but yeah. But I would love to have like my stepmom come on and talk about it. I would never bring Sophie on like, <laughs> as a talk thing because once she wouldn't talk and two, she just wouldn't sit still for that long. I would love to bring my stepmom on and have her talk about it. All the work she's put in and all the different things and how it's changed her life because it's affected her life a lot more than mine as like, but as her mother. So yeah, I would love to have her talk about it sometime because it's just good to talk about those kind of things. Yeah, neither of us are like certified in anything, but it would be good to just talk about our experience, I think so. Really should eat more food. I promise I'll get better at this. If I continue on this path of mukbanging, maybe I won't, let's be real. It'll be more fun to mukbang with other people. I don't know. I also like can't eat like 20 pounds of pasta like the other mukbangers can. I just don't have that in me. But Hannah asks, what is your major? I'm a marketing major with a minor in music, media, and enterprise. At Ohio State, our major is technically, I have a major in business with a specialization in marketing, but I just say I'm a marketing major. Um, yeah, and then my minor's music, media, and enterprise. But at this rate, I'm gonna graduate a year and a half early because I did so many college classes in high school, so I might add on another one. Um, I'm not sure yet, and I'm panicked a little. 
Carolyn asks, what is your favorite song to sing? Um, Carolyn's, <laughs> I'm choking. Carolyn is another girl in my sorority. She's a singer as well. She does more like the musical side of things, which is badass, but oh, that's a hard one. Okay, so my favorite, so I'm trying to think. There are some songs I genuinely just love to sing, even if they're like cliche. Like a song I love to sing is You Belong With Me because I just get into it. I don't know what it is. It's just like fun. In terms of my own songs, I love singing my song Lightning. I'm going to say my favorite song to sing is the Yellow House song. I wrote the Yellow House song for my dad and my stepmom because they were like the first example of love I saw. I'm not trying to bash my parents, but literally they got divorced when I was seven, so like I don't really remember them being together if we're being honest. I wrote that about them being in love and every time I perform it, my dad tears up and he's like, like I said, he's like one of the toughest guys I know, so it's like really funny. It's just sweet to see him like tear up and get all emotional over a song and I just love that song and think it's pretty. Other than that, I love doing a lot of Taylor Swift songs and I also love doing popular from Wicked. <laughs> um, I did it for a talent show a long time ago. I don't have the clips. So I wish I did, but I don't know. I thought that was a pretty good song for my voice and I thought I like acted it pretty well. So I do enjoy doing that. I have a lot of fries left. We gotta work on this guys. My mukbang chills are not that good. I just thought uh, mukbang would be fun. Plus, I had like a small window where I could actually film because Madison is gone studying. I don't want to be annoying and film while she's like in the room. <laughs> yeah, she's studying for physics and I was very hungry and I was like, kill two birds with one stone or feed two birds with one scone as PETA would say. I'm literally eating on like a laptop tray. I'm getting grease all over my phone, but it's fine. Um, favorite ice cream flavor? Um, definitely a turtle sundae. I'm just like, I love chocolate, hot fudge, pecans. It's my go-to. What else? Where are you traveling to this summer? I said Germany. I'm also going to Italy. It's insane. I've never been out of the country and this all lined up at once. My family just randomly decided like, hey, we're going to Italy, which is crazy. I'm so blessed, so excited. My mom's side of the family is going. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Germany and Italy and then the rest of the summer, I'm just gonna be straight up working. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay, good question. If you could only watch three YouTubers, who would they be? I, I watch so much YouTube. I'm going at this question, I gotta choose a variety, right? Like, I don't want just all lifestyle people. I'm gonna not go with any musicians because like Dodie, I can stream on Spotify and stuff anyways. I'm gonna say one is gonna be best dressed. Just because I love her, she's amazing. Her fashion sense is so good. I love how sex positive she is. And she talks about like a lot of topics that are like more taboo. Love that about her, so I'm gonna say her. Yeah, her, love her. I really like Marissa Nicole. She's um, she's like a vegan, kind of like a hippie. I don't know how to like also describe her. She's not really like a hippie, you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't mean that offensively like I got a little bit of hippie in me badass again. She's really sex positive She's like a great woman to look up to honestly. She's amazing and she's just very candid She does a lot of mukbangs and stuff, too. Yeah, I feel like I liked her I would want like a more chill option if I only had three the next one is gonna completely throw you off guard I'm gonna go with camp Kennan <laughs> So if you're watching my videos, you probably haven't heard of them. He's this guy his name is Kennan He used to be like a some kind of extreme sports guy. I don't know. I'm not like super into extreme sports, so I don't know what he did. Um, but basically he like has this backyard that he set up as like a zoo for all these different reptiles he has. I know this sounds so weird. I'm really into biology though. Um, so it's kind of like my biology fix. If I wasn't like trying to go after the music thing, I would be a biology major and just like be outside all day. Yeah, I used to be like a citizen science like salamander monitor person fun fact so yeah i choose champ camp kind of i honestly enjoy watching animal videos a lot i would probably just watch the animal planet but i really respect what the guy's doing in terms of like helping conservation so education in action conservation in action we stand but now you know i have a weird affinity to reptiles i don't even like reptiles like i would never keep reptiles so I don't know why, maybe that's why I like it. That's the final answer. I go with Marissa Lace, Best Dress, and Cam Cannon because they're just amazing people. 
That was the last bite. We did it. I have too much footage on it now though. This is a hot mess. I relate mostly to the hot part. That was sarcasm. I know you guys aren't very good at that seeing as I got 20 comments going, the office isn't Andy. I realize. <laughs> I can't believe people really didn't pick up on that. I'm actually kind of upset people didn't pick up on that. Falafel gone, fries gone. For some reason, I'm still kind of hungry. But I hope you enjoyed this very weird Q&A. <laughs> if you want to see more mukbangs, honestly, it's not going to become a regular thing, but like maybe <laughs> I'll film some more in the future if you like them. If you are new here, I make videos on college, original songs, lifestyle, fashion, music, all those kind of things. Some weird videos like this every once in a while. So let me know if you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below to help our channel grow. Thank you for all the growth we've been experiencing lately. Also comment down below and follow me on Instagram at YT Sarah Bo, so next time you can help ask some of the questions. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching again and goodbye.